and Irina Crush is with us. Irina, welcome to the show and congratulations. Uh, great victory for you today. Thanks, guys. I can't see you, but you know, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, we're a little bit of a distance here. It's an unusual experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't get that intimate feeling <laughs> that we usually get when you're yeah. with us in the studio. Now you will be able to see us as well. Tell us about today's game. I know it's been a frustrating event up to this point. The first game, you had a great position against Carissa. After that, you saved it, so it kind of balanced out. But finally, you got that elusive victory. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, last few days were kind of disappointing because I was also doing really well against Talia. And again, like in the last few moves before the time control, I, I blew it. Um, so obviously, you know, one of the goals is not to get low on time because I think that's really where I'm going to give up points. Um, of course, today's game was so complicated that it was kind of hard to avoid the time trouble, even though you know, I was trying to. Well, Fortunately, at the end, I still managed to have a lot more time than my opponent. Um, her position was also not easy to play, and it was, it was a, it's a game that I feel really good about because, you know, you can win in a lot of ways, but, you know, this sort of way, it's like you kind of made your whole concept work, right? That mm -hmm. um, I gave up my light squared bishop in order to keep my knight on e5, and basically, yep. um, you know, the way the game worked out, it was like that's the... Uh, culmination of that whole concept from, right, right from the opening. Yep, absolutely. And at this point, you were already breaking through. We were looking at your position at right now. Rook takes f7 was coming. There were a lot of things hanging in the air. And that doesn't can, feel like... Can we look at rook h8 here? Because I actually realized, you know, one of the things I realized that after a rook takes f7, queen f7, aha, I have... Oh, queen g5, right, because, you know, at first I didn't see this fork in f3. Like, I literally was going to play knight f7 and blunder this fork, so that's why I played king g2 <laughs> on my next move. That's okay, a nice one. so this yeah, one yeah. was, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah I mean, don't touch um, that queen, I guess, of course. I guess, actually, maybe I thought her chance instead of g6, I don't know, it was g6 a mistake, maybe she should have played f6 there. F6 was um, the I best was thinking defense, maybe her, yes. Yeah, she has to give up the queen, right, like, because... I have to go for this line, and it's actually, well, okay, I'm going to have to still to do a lot of work to win. Um, but, okay, it's not so easy for black to, let's say, go for this, because then you really have to admit that you're getting mated otherwise. Yes, that's right. No, uh, very nicely played. A beautiful attack successfully conducted by you, uh, Irina. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow, unless we have other questions from Yasser and Katarina. No, our congratulations, Irina. Something strange about today's round. Lots and lots of decisive games. Uh, the tournament started slowly. What happened uh, in this round three? Everybody's suddenly <laughs> swinging for the fence. Yeah, I mean, I guess after a few days of calm, it's kind of normal <laughs> that we have an explosive day. Right. Yeah. Okay, our congratulations, Arena. Thanks, guys. See you later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because